What's going on everybody? We are back here for another review. Finn here. I'm trying to mix things up a little bit. And we're going to check out a juice by Charlie's Chalk Dust. Now we haven't actually touched Charlie's Chalk Dust at all on the channel. But bumped into one of our subscribers. You've probably seen him commenting below if you do watch these videos. Tommy Lee. Awesome guy. Had a good time hanging out in the shop. Met him a little bit. He's actually given me a bottle of Charlie's Chalk Dust. 15ml bottle. Nice slick little black design to the bottle, so you probably recognize these bottles if you've been vaping for a while. It is a 50ml bottle, 3 milligrams of nicotine, and it is called Head Banging Boogie. And charliechalkdust.com is the website on the side of the bottle. Now, it is a 70 30 mix, so 70 PJ, 30 PJ. Now, I'd look at the website, their PJ and PJ isn't consistent for the juices. They kind of change them based on the flavor, which I'm not too sure why. They've got kind of different ranges. Not 100% sure. But, we're going to check it out. So, Headbang and Boogie. When you smell this, let's get that open. It's got a weird smell. The first thing that comes to my mind is kind of like a cherry aid, like a still cherry aid. But when you smell it a little bit more, There's kind of like other fruits in there. I'm picking up what might be kind of like a another type of citrus in there. So maybe it's the wind for this kind of like tropical kind of mix. Melted slushy drink maybe. Not too sure. But that's what it smells like. It smells like kind of if you leave cherry aid, you leave it in the sun. The pop I'm talking about. If you leave it in the sun, it goes kind of flat still. You get that kind of weird kind of off smell to it. That's what it smells like to me. So... We're going to check it out. So I hope I pronounced your name right, Tommy. Tommy Lee? Maybe. We will find out. We're going to quickly check this. So do apologize. Because I want to get this correct. Because I wouldn't be checking this out now to show you if it wasn't for Tommy. Now I know his first name is Tommy. Let's just quickly go to my phone. And I can't find where it's at. You know, that's always the case. I go and try to find something on my phone I could just never find it so let's just quickly go to Finn Vapes just click on it like this like a DSO we click on search quickly type it in it's probably not prodigal but hey hey right so I had to quickly take a pause have a look on the website totally fucked that up Tommy Prince where the hell, where have I got Tommy Lee from? I got no idea. So yeah, we're going to check it out. Tommy Prince kind of give us this juice while we were in the old vapory today. Picking up some wire. We did actually pick up ourselves some of this weird and wonderful double K clapped in twisted wire. This stuff is just absolutely thick as hell, but we're going to use it for the purpose of this review. So we're going to review this juice on our Lasmo 200 watt. And we're going to use the Raphael X audio because i absolutely love this dripper it is absolutely awesome we're going to probably do a review on it it's kind of strange to build on it so let's kick it off so we're going to freshly dripped up freshly wicked got the coils in they are absolutely huge can't really see them but they are massive and they're only around a three mil drill bit so we're gonna have a fit so let's check it out so 60 watts on 0.64 ohms let's have a fit of head banging boogie that's the one Let's just turn it up a little bit. We're going to kick it off at 80 watts now. Because this coil seems to take a while to heat up. So. Vapor production is absolutely fantastic. It's not really kind of in your vase, like dense Max VG cloud chasing liquid, but it's just right. Just right for the amount of juice. Now let's talk about the juice. This one 
I'm a direct lung hitter, but you're getting something that's hitting the back of your throat. It's not like a harshness, but it's kind of like a little scratchy feeling to the back of your throat. So it's got something in there that's a little bit rough on the back end of that one. But the flavour is kind of a strange one. When you first inhale it, you're getting this kind of like cherry kind of taste to this, kind of like a cherry aid kind of taste. And it just dies off on the exhale, which is kind of a shame really. Nothing like kind of left in your mouth afterwards, nothing whatsoever, which is a shame. Because I believe what they've went for on this juice is kind of like, it's kind of like an ice lolly. That's what they're kind of trying to retrieve on this juice. So yeah, so for me this personally wouldn't be an all day fave. I couldn't really fave it all day because there's not enough flavour there, kind of I love chasing flavour. Now that's not just because of the dripper, we can change the mode basically in the flavour mode which is perfect about this dripper. And when you do that you're getting more of the tropical citrus fruit sitting in the back end of that, but you're not really getting any kind of lasting taste. That's what I'm finding. Now that just might personally be my taste buds. Tell me I'm talking shite by all means. But that is basically that that's my opinion on the juice. It's a nice juice. But there's not enough flavour there personally for us. I can see where they're kinda of going with it. Got like kind of a little roughness to the back for a free milligram. Now I don't know if that's a nicotine or something else which is in the juice, one of the flavour concentrates causing that. <clears throat> that's why I'm trying to kind of clear my throat. But over that there's nothing else I can really say to that, apart from we're going to read the description and see what it says. So if you head over to basically charliechalkdust.com, they have a basic tab on the top that says our flavours. Where they've got moustache, honey badger, wonder worm. Now we've heard good things about wonder worm, mind. But head bang and boogie. So it's a tropical blueberry popsicle that will knock your pants off. So I get no blueberry whatsoever. I'm just getting kind of like this weird kind of cherry, like a cherry aid, which has kind of been sitting there for a while. So... That might just be my taste buds. But other than that, thank you once again, Tommy, for actually allowing me to check this out and show all you lovely people over at YouTube. Until then, see you later. Stay safe. Blow you out of the cloud. Till next time.